Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you a few little tricks you can do if you have a Macintosh computer. Uh, a lot of people request uh, a way to hide the waveforms up here at the top, or all this, basically all the stuff at the top. They don't want to see the waveforms, they don't want to look at the beat match waveforms, they just want to hide it. Uh, there's a nifty little feature of Mac computers is the zoom feature. You can zoom in uh, anywhere on the screen. Now you can use this in Scratch Live and to basically you can just blow up the track list area down here and that's all you'll see on the screen. So you'll basically get rid of the waveforms and pretty much everything up here at the top. Now it's not really getting rid of it, it's just moving it out of the field of uh, view. So uh, to do this, hold the control key down and then either if you have an external mouse plugged in, uh, use your mouse wheel to scroll up or down or you can just use the, uh, the two finger scroll on your trackpad if you have a MacBook or a MacBook Pro. So if you hold control down and you do that, you'll see the screen zoom in. And you can uh, just move around it and kind of resize it. And there you go. You can just basically, this is the whole screen right now that you're seeing, just the track list. Uh, the stuff is still there at the top if you scroll up. It's just out of the field of view. So you can, uh, you know, here you go. Now you just don't have to look at the waveforms if you don't want to. Uh, and basically you just have your track list shown on the screen. But now you're just going to have to remember which track you load into, so you might have to scroll up every now and then. Uh, but yeah, that's a nifty little trick to uh, get rid of the waveforms if you don't want to see them, if you have a Mac computer. Uh, or I guess on the flip side, if you do want to blow up the waveforms and just have two large waveforms on the screen, you can do that. And you can load up even a little bit more. So you just have two huge waveforms on the screen if you want to do that, uh, like this. Now keep in mind, this is this is my entire screen right now that you're seeing. Uh, I'm not like zoomed in with the, the recording program I'm using. This is actually what my entire MacBook screen looks like this big. So again, that's the zoom feature uh, on Mac computers. You gotta hold the control key down and then use your mouse wheel to scroll up or down or use the two finger scrolling on your trackpad. Now another cool feature is if you ever have to play outside uh, in the sun, uh, you may probably notice that it's really hard to see the screen, especially on a MacBook because it has the glossy screen. Uh, there's another trick on Mac computers that you can invert the screen colors. And I can't actually show it. Uh, the video, this video program won't capture the, the screen inversion, but if you hold the control key, the alt key, and the command key, which is the Apple key, and then 8. So control, alt, command, 8, hit those at the same time, and that will invert all the screen colors. Uh, as I mentioned, I can't show you it directly, but I can take a picture of it and show you what it would look like. Uh, so let me close that down, and this is what it will look like right there. So basically, it just uh, inverts all the screen colors. So this is really good if you want to, if you have to play outside in a bright sunny day. And um, yeah, so this is good for high contrast viewing. And so yeah, those are just a couple of tricks you can do on Macintosh computers. So the zoom is control uh, and scroll up or down with your mouse wheel or your trackpad, and control plus alt plus command plus eight is how you invert the screen colors.